Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video I'm going to show how to enter a Mac computer into DFU or Device Firmware Update mode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now, let's begin. Rarely, a Mac with Apple Silicon or the Apple T2 security chip may stop responding and need to be revived or restored by another Mac. To revive or restore an affected Mac computer, you'll need to enter DFU mode. Here the question arises, when and why to enter DFU mode? If a Mac with Apple Silicon or the Apple T2 security chip may have become unresponsive, then the firmware stored in its memory needs to be revived or restored. This can occur in certain rare circumstances, such as when a power failure interrupts macOS installation. Symptoms can include, starts a Mac up to an exclamation mark in a circle, shows the status indicator light pattern for firmware recovery mode, or starts up to a blank screen. Now, here comes what you'll need to revive or restore. Of course, the affected Mac, which is the Mac with Apple Silicon or Mac with the Apple T2 security chip that you're reviving or restoring. Other Mac models don't apply. Another Mac, which you will use to revive or restore the affected Mac. This Mac must be using macOS Monterey or later. A USB-C to USB-C cable that supports data and charging, such as the Apple USB-C charge cable, included with some Apple products. It works with ports on Mac that accept a type USB-C connector, Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt or USB 4, Thunderbolt 3 or USB 3. Don't use a Thunderbolt 3 cable. However, if you don't have a USB Type-C to C cable, you can still go with a USB Type-A to Type-C cable, which supports data and charging. Now moving further, let me tell you how to bring your affected Mac computer into DFU mode. By following these steps based on whether the affected Mac is a laptop computer or desktop computer, and whether it's a Mac with Apple Silicon or a Mac with the Apple T2 security chip, you will use the USB-C cable to connect the two computers, then enter DFU, Device Firmware Update Mode, on the affected Mac. In case you haven't got a USB-C cable, use Type-A in the working Mac computer and the Type-C end to the affected Mac computer. For a laptop computer, on the affected MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, plug the Mac into a power source. Mac with Apple Silicon, facing the ports on the left-hand side of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the leftmost USB-C port. Mac with T2 chip, facing the ports on the left-hand side of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. The left side of every laptop has a USB-C port furthest to the left. For desktop computer, on the affected desktop computer, iMac, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. Mac Mini with Apple Silicon, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the leftmost USB-C port. Mac Mini with T2 chip, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. Mac Studio, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. Mac Pro with desktop enclosure, on the top of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port furthest from the power button. Mac Pro with rack enclosure, on the front of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port closest to the power button. Now on the other Mac. With the computer booted to macOS Monterey or later, plug the other end of the USB-C cable into any USB-C port. If using USB Type-A to Type-C, plug the Type-A end into any Type-A port. Also, make sure the Mac is connected to the internet. Now, on the affected Mac laptop computer, to enter DFU mode, press and hold the power button for up to 10 seconds until the Mac turns off. If your Mac has a Touch ID button, it's also the power button. Press and release the power button, then immediately press and hold all four of these together on the built-in keyboard. Control on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Option on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Shift on the right-hand side of the keyboard. Power button. Mac with Apple Silicon. Keep holding all four keys for about 10 seconds, then release all keys except the power button. After about three seconds, release the power button. Mac with T2 chip. Keep holding all four keys for about three seconds, then release all keys. Now on the affected Mac desktop computer, to enter DFU mode, unplug the Mac from its power source. Press and hold the power button. Keep holding the power button while plugging the Mac back into the power source. After about three seconds, release the power button. And voila, your affected Mac is in DFU mode. To verify, open system information and go to the USB section. 
Here you'll see Apple Mobile Device DFU mode, and now you'll be able to revive or restore your affected Mac computer. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to revive or restore your Mac. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.